I'd like to thank all of you for coming to our event today. And yeah. so happy to host you. And for you to be the first to hear about our uh, exciting news about eSports. Uh, I'd like to give you a background about eSports for those who have no idea about it. So if you, based on certain news reports, if you look at it, eSports is going to grow to 557 million uh, eSports and by the year 2021. So, and the eSports segment is growing rapidly by five fold year on year from the past five years, if you look at the data by years. So, to quickly define what eSports is, eSports is basically an arena style video gaming competition where uh, two teams compete against each other in an arena setting. And the viewership numbers of eSports range from hundred, hundreds of million for every event that goes live right now. Uh, and the teams that compete on eSports vary from like uh, console games, PC games, as well as uh, mobile games. Uh, without further ado, I'd like to introduce our CEO, uh, Deborah from Portland. Hi there. How's it going? Yeah. Everybody happy today? So as Robbie mentioned, I'm Deborah, and I'm the CEO of PTW. I, before I begin, I'd like to thank the members of the press who came out here today. I hope y'all are as excited as I am. I've got some very exciting, important news to share with you. So PTW is an experienced first product services company with offices all over the world. We've been in business for 25 years and have extensive experience in the video game industry. We also have clients in the e-learning, interactive media, consumer brands, and disruptive technologies. Basically anywhere in the world for any connected product, we build custom solutions to help our clients get their products out there, working better, getting to market faster, and enhancing the lives of more users worldwide. From video games to consumer technologies, we are PTW. Last year we worked on 350 games and clocked more than 50,000 hours in testing VR and AR alone. We work on every genre, every platform, and our people are passionate about and invested in the success of our clients' products. In summary, we help bring fun and connect the world. PTW plans to help build the future of video games, especially here in India, and we believe that esports is a huge part of this. Reuters predicts that global esports revenues will top 1 billion in 2019, which is a 27% increase year on year over 2018. PTW will continue to play a big part in video games and especially eSports. What role will we play? Well, I don't know. That's why we're here today. We would like to announce that PTW has launched an eSports team here in India under the brand of Orange Rock eSports. Some of our Orange Rock eSports team members come from the top team, Indian Tigers. And two other pro players were recruited to round out our crew. The team is currently one of the top three teams in India and is the fan favorite PUBG mobile team here. Their last tournament as Indian Tigers had a viewership of 3.7 million. And this is what I'm super excited about. The team recently qualified um, for ESL International and is set to play, and hopefully win, in Milan at the Global Finals towards the end of September. <laughs> With that being said, I want to introduce you to Orange Rock Esports. Stay up guys, come on.
Leading our Orange Rocky sports team on the corporate side is Runga, who's going to share with you a little bit more about our future plans. Thank you, Deborah. Um, I thank the press for being here. I also thank uh, some of our special guests. Scout, thanks for being there. AFK Gaming, you know, shout out to you guys and Nordwind for really promoting esports, Ravi. Um, and sorry if I forgot to mention a few other people. Uh, but, um, you know, we launched Orange Rock Esports in India with one goal in our mind to take Indian gamers global. Having grown up, you know, having grown up in, um, you know, in India, you know, uh, in my early days out here, India holds a very special place for me. I've always dreamt of coming back and elevating Indian gamers to the international stage. This is the first step towards that goal. We're so proud of the team and uh, so excited to, you know, have them dominate the mobile gaming world. Uh, this is just the beginning of Orange Rock Esports. And it's also just the beginning for Port to Win in the world of online esports. We are hoping to invest in many more teams in the future. Um, with that, I would like to introduce you to the team itself. Um, you know, starting off with uh, Mavi, would you like to come on stage, please? And then Existence. Caddy. Sandu. And last and, you know, is equally important, Bharat, who's the team manager and the coach. And this is just the start for India, guys. Like, India, like, you know, worldwide, if you look at, you know, esports, I'm, I'm going to get to that in a bit. You know, in many countries around the world, esports is taken just as seriously as any traditional sport. Um, like basketball, football. In fact, esports today in the world is the most rapidly growing uh, sport right now. The opportunity for the growth of esport in India is massive, and there's definitely a need for structure and investment. Um, that's where PPW can help, and we're really excited to be a part of it. Um, and you know, really take India international. I want you know, I'm, I'm really hoping that they would win the Milan Championship. I really hope that everyone else in esports will. Um, you know, I want to take India number one. You know, all of us, and you know. It's fine, you know, we'll give it a shot. If not, uh, you know, we'll try again many times, but I'm pretty sure in the next three years, India will be number one in esports. Uh, that's our goal, and thank you. Uh, so if you, if you want to stay in touch with us, uh, we are at Orange Rock Esports on all social media, and we're excited to take, you know, talk about gaming, esports, uh, you know, emerging technology, biryani, whatever you think we should be talking about. And for any information on PR, please email PR at orangerock.com. Uh, with that, I'd like to complete this uh, press launch and be open for questions. Uh, so thank you. Thank you. Please come with
Yeah. Okay, with that, um, do we do questions here?